I gotta turn my phone down. Gotta find myself. Y'all already know that. Y'all already know how this whole thing go. Look, here I go. See? Alright. Uh, man, the thing is, I can't turn the volume down unless the um the uh, thing starts. But anyways, I do not have on no spooky costume because I don't, I don't, I don't. I love high high reflex, or whatever. But I was thinking my favorite uh. Thing was the 80s hip hop 80s so that's what I'm dressed as cause you know uh I'm hood like that now nah, I'm just kidding <laughs> but um that's what I'm dressed as y'all hold on let me get myself together over here alright so see this is what I'm talking about Facebook is just a, like a joke I know they we trying to, uh, I don't know if they helping us or hurting us. I don't know. I'm hurt like that. <laughs> you heard that part? Anyways, y'all, I had to break out all the fake gold jewelry. So if y'all see me later with a black neck or black, you know, all on the skin areas, um, that's why. Because, you know, and I put on some nails for y'all and everything. But let me tell y'all. I put the, some of these nails is on backwards, okay? And taking these things off. Let me show y'all what brand I use. No, but for real. I got these from Dollar Tree. This. If you see these, get them. Because these nails ain't going nowhere. No time soon. Okay, I was trying to pull them off real quick so I could flip. Mm, that ain't working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So let me say some highs. Hi, Shatika. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Ada. Delilah. Ada. Let's see who's over here. Teresa. Margarita. Sandra. Yes, it is a costume, honey. It's an 80s hip hop. Because you know what? 80s. That was my favorite time of my life, the 80s. I was. I was a teenager in the 80s, so I got to enjoy the 80s. I wasn't born in the 80s. I enjoyed the 80s. Hey, Bella. Hi, Chris. Hey, Ada. Hey, Tasha. Thank you, Ada. That's right, Margarita. Got to throw it back because, you know, you got to let these youngins know you still, you know. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Marduk. Stacy. Dorothy. I think that's Quincy and Patty and Carla. But anyway, y'all, let me get started. So I made yesterday I made a charbuterie board. Right? This is a frame from Dollar Tree. You can see the holes in the back. But I don't know. When I looked at it, it looked like a tray. It could be a tray. So I said, I'm gonna turn this into my charbuterie board. So I made this uh cut out a stencil on my cricket and I dabbed some paint on there, and that's it. It's kind of crooked as you can see. Just like everything, when I do everything last minute, it just, that's how it is. Crooked, just like these nails is all upside down and everything, but that's okay. That's a whole nother situation. Yes, the the 80s were the best. Well, thank you, Delilah. Um, So, I'm going to switch the screen over here because we're going to fill this tray up with a whole bunch of, well, I don't know if they're going to be spooky, but they're going to be Halloween treats, okay? So, let's do that. So, here we go. Um, the first thing I want to make is this. Y'all seen these? Y'all ever made these, the real ones? These are pretzels, ch chocolate covered pretzels, a marshmallow, and a spooky face. So, we're going to make this. It's so easy to make, but I, I use the mold. I'm not going to lie. Because sometimes you don't have time like that to be making. And I think, um, hey, Teresa, I think, um, I look smart in my bling. Well, thanks. 
Um, what's her name? Anne. I think Anne has some of these in her in her shop. So I already made some because it's hard to work with soft clay. So I have my little thing right here. I made. I used. Oh shoot! I forgot to plug my 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 my, my, my glue gun. But I used five of these. One, two, three, four, five. You don't have to use five. You could use three. You could cut this down, put, use it as a cupcake topper, you know, if you make, like, the fake cupcakes or whatever. But now I got to go get my glue gun, so hold on. But I got some fake ones here already, and I got, you're going to need a small one, a small um, marshmallow, and a large marshmallow. Because the small marshmallow is what's going to hold the pretzels up, okay? Yeah, girl, I got my nails done, Joanne. You know what I'm saying? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree to the rescue you. Hold on. I got to plug my... You know what? And I put my uh, glue gun right there and said, oh, I got to glue this. I mean, I got to um, plug this in. And then I didn't plug it in. But anyways, let me show y'all what else we're going to put on this charbuterie board. Y'all ready? So, I got a whole thing here. We're going to make some ghosts. We're going to put some ghosts right here. We're going to make some little cupcakes. We made these cupcakes before. I'm waiting for the glue gun to dry. Hi, Letitia. It's $1.25 here too, Janine, girl. But I, I was saying, if y'all see these nails, this Kiss brand right here, these are short business nails. If you see this, it comes with the glue on the tip and everything. You don't even have to get put glue or anything. Um, get them, because these things are on here. I don't know how I'm going to take these suckers off, but that's all right. That's a whole other story. So we're going to make a whole bunch of things to put on our board. I got a little couple of zombie cookies. We're going to make some strawberries. You see these cute little strawberries? You got a ghost. You got Frankie. You got a pumpkin. We're going to put that all on our board. Yes, yes. And I got some little candy bars we're going to put on the board. It got candy in it. And I'm going to show you how I did all of this, okay? And uh, where I have another one somewhere around here, right? And we gonna make some little mini macaroons. Hold on, look at my little mini macaroons. These are so cute. I love those. And we gonna make some Oreo bats. You see these bats? I don't know how. I'm, I think that's enough stuff to fill on here. We gonna put some. We gonna make some bats. I made some some Halloween bark. Whoop. We got some Halloween bark here, and oh, and there's some other stuff in there. But we gonna start. I think my glue gun is hot by now. It better be because this glue gun began on my nerves. So I'm gonna put all this stuff back, and we are gonna do it one at a time. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this over here so I can have. My room to make my um my uh gotta get a craft stick so get you a craft stick like a lollipop not a craft stick a lollipop stick and you're gonna have to make a small marshmallow because this small marshmallow is what's gonna hold this one is these are old where's the other marshmallow I had Anyways, I think this is good right here. I look bougie. See, this is not, you know, when you, you know when you try to do. Okay, there you go. Cause I was about to catch a fit. So now, the way you put the um, the uh, pretzels, you're gonna put the small hole under his neck because that's a, you know. This is going to be his, what you call this, his ribs, his lung, whatever you call it, whatever. He dead. He don't need it, whatever it is. 
and you're going to put them in there like that. Just line them up. Just put them on there first, and then you're going to glue them, okay? So don't worry about that too much. Just line them up. Put how many you want. If you want three or if you want five, whatever. I'm going to use five because I already made five, so I'm going to use five. All right? So then you're going to put it like that. And this marshmallow is going to hold them down. You see that? It's not going anywhere because that marshmallow is there. So now we got to glue the marshmallow down. We got to glue the, um, not the marshmallow. You don't need a lot of glue either, okay? You just need enough to connect it. And then, you're going to just keep on gluing the next one on top of the other one. So forth and so on. But you kind of want it to like beat up a little bit. So when you glue it, let me just not do that because that's I'm covering up what I'm trying to do here. And y'all can't even see what I'm doing. So I kind of put the glue on the stick, a little bit on here, but on the stick. Cause this, I want it to like be held up a little bit, like so it could come down like that. So you gotta kind of like bend it down a little bit, and then put the next one on, and hold it down, and then you go through the next one. Put some glue on that stick. Come hold it down. And this is going to be the last one. And hold it down. Just hold it in place for a minute. Hey, D. Hey, Kirsty. Thank you. Yes, girl. I'm repping the 80s, the best time ever. So you're going to get your, okay, so when you roll your marshmallow, I rolled this marshmallow out yesterday because I don't want it to be a fresh marshmallow. Even though the inside is still soft, it's, that's okay. But if you make a marshmallow and then you try to squeeze it on here, it's going to lose its shape. It's not going to have that marshmallow look. And if you want to help it along, get you something pointy, make the hole first, like that, and then you... You have less, you know, you're not going to squeeze less trying to put the head on, okay? And that's it. And then I'm going to use a marker because marker's been my jam lately. I don't have to use no paint. I don't have to use anything. I could just use a marker and it makes my life easier and I like it. So I'm going to use a marker to make his face. He's just going to be, wait, let me make sure it's in the middle because you know... I be doing stuff and it look crazy. So you're just going to go. And these are plaid paint markers. You can use any markers that you have. You can use a big pen if you have it. A big marker. Whatever you got. That's what you use. Okay. So now this is going to go on our little board, but we're going to put our board together after. I can make another one. Let me make another one real quick because I got the stuff so I can show y'all again what I got here. Um, let me get my stick. I made two marshmallow heads. So I actually used this, this cup. This It says Witch's Brew. I bought this a lot of years ago and I put my... um. My lollipop sticks in there. And you can add, I don't even have to unscrew. I could just dispense it from here. But, you know, I was got to make my life harder. So let's see if this marshmallow is going to cooperate with me. Because I had another marshmallow, but I don't know what I did with it. I have made three marshmallows, and now I lost one. But that's okay. That's okay. Kirsty, you got all the snacks and the coffee, girl. You chilling today, huh? Okay, there you go. I got it in there. All right, so now we're going to glue this down again. This is pretty easy. Once you get this mold, 
I mean, you don't need this mold. If you good at making pretzels by hand, fake pretzels, go for it. I ain't going to lie. I ain't. I gave up trying. And I love that mold. Because that mold, I made, that's how I made these. Where, oh, I put them away already. But I made the ghost. I'm going to make a mummy. Honey. That mold, I really love that mold a lot. And I made the reindeer. Remember I made the reindeer cookies? I really like that mold. So just glue, 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 glue. You don't need a lot of glue. Just enough to hold the, the skeleton in place. Okay, y'all hear my door knockers knocking? No, but seriously, who grew up in the 80s? I, I think that was the best time ever. I'm sorry. Whoever didn't grow up in the 80s, y'all missed out. Oh, where is the other? Seriously. Oh, I was about to say, where is the other marshmallow? All right. And I know I always talk about TikTok, but the DJs on TikTok be playing all the old school jams. Man, listen, it takes me back to a time. It takes me back. They be playing that old school hip hop and all that good stuff. I listen to all kinds of music, but I really did grow up listening to old to hip hop, R and B. I love soft rock too, though. But back in the '80s, the radio station they played all kind of music. That is not, it's not, it wasn't like today, where you got to listen to this one radio station for this kind of music. You listen to that radio station. They play everything on the radio. You listen to soft rock. You listen to hip hop. You listen to everything on one radio station. Okay, so here we go. We got three of those. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this bark because this is gonna take time to dry. Ugh, Lord. So you need a piece. I use a piece of craft foam. This is brown. I use the thick piece and I cut it up like this. And then I got me some. I got me some. This is. I gotta think. Not. Yeah, this is spackle. With a little bit of water and some paint. It's not caulk. This is spackle, okay? I didn't use spackle on, I mean, I didn't use caulk on this. I used spackle. So then you're going to take your little bit of, um, your piece of foam that you cut up. And you're just going to put your spackle on there. Like that. And then you put whatever fake sprinkles you have on here. I'm just going to make one piece because then we're going to move on to the other treats that I have. All right, we, we could do two pieces. We could do two pieces. Just take your spackle and put it on there. You could use cork if you want to. I'm not saying you can't use cork, but I did. And this is spackle water and paint. Water down. That's it. And you can make your little swirls or whatever you want in there. And then you're going to take some sprinkles. And you're just going to sprinkle it on top of there. And make your Halloween bark. Okay. And I'm going to move this to the side because it's wet. it over there and this is how we got this right maybe I should put my board down here hold on let me let me see let me let me reorganize so we can put our treats on the board as we go okay Oop, these don't want to come off the board so here goes my charcuterie board right we're gonna put our skeletons over here let's get that glue those glue webs because some things 
Here you go. Here go your skeletons over there. Here go your Halloween bark. Boom. Now we're going to make some little ghosts. So with this one, that's also a mold. Is this mold the Netter Butter mold? And, yeah, I want to go back to the 80s, too, Tammy, for real. Ah, you don't know. That was with the best times, man. I mean, carefree, young adult, doing your thing. And everything was just different back then. Anyway, this is the mold I used. And, uh, hold on, because I got to look. So, what I did, you know, I kind of did made these in advance, okay? But y'all seen me make these before. And, um, because I used it for the reindeer, when I did the reindeer, um, cake and cookies. So, I made these, I painted them with, um, the classic caramel, I dry brushed it, and I make some fake peanut butter to go in the middle. It's just like a light brown, it's a piece of brown with white, and I made it look like peanut butter, right? So, it's going to look like that. And then you're going to get... Now this mixture, this mixture here is cork, cork paint and Mod Podge. You see it's a different texture. So you're going to get that. And you're just going to dip your cookie. You're going to take your cookie and you're going to dip half of your cookie in it like that. Make sure you get a good, a nice little coating. Make sure you get all that drip off. And then you're going to put it down. And you're going to let this dry. You have to let this dry completely. I'm going to put it over here with my... With my... Um, Halloween bark. Okay? And then when it dries... You're going to get something like this. And that's when you draw your face on. This is the ugly side. Make sure you get the good side, okay? Thanks, Cynthia. Uh, so, again, I'm going with my paint marker. Now, the original ones, these, I did with paint. Get you um, uh, a dotting tool. The, dot, the tool that comes with the dot at, with the rounded end. Let me show you. This is not the right size. But this is a dotting tool, and you dip that in your black paint, and you can put it on, use it for the eyes and the mouth. You don't have to use a paint pen, but that's what I'm going to use, because it just makes everything so easy. And I'm going to draw on his face. And add him to the posse. Now we got a ghost posse over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. These are all fairly easy to do. And I think um I think Annie has this mold in her shop as well. Okay? So there go our ghosts. We're gonna add the ghost to the little party over here. Boom boom. Now let's do some Oreo bats. So you need a mold for that too. I'm sorry guys, but I like to do realism. So molds, they help me a lot. This is the Oreo mold. It's made famous. You can find it on Timu. You can find it on Etsy. You can find it anywhere. Okay. So I made them, um, a couple of them. Let's move some of this stuff out the way. Whatever we don't need, we got to, it got to go. So I made a cookie mold here. I got my mold. And um, where's the other? Okay. So I got my mold. And what I did, I took one. You're going to have to make three of these for one cookie. Because the other one you're going to cut in half to make the bat wings. Okay. You're going to make the bat wings. Now, this is how I 
did mine. If you look, you can see that I kind of, this was the first one I made, so it didn't come out that great. But this one looks a lot more clean and even because I learned. And this is what I learned, and I'm going to show you right now. So what I did was I took the bat wings and I glued them down. Like glue them down, try to get them. You don't need a lot of the bat wing on the cookie. You don't need that much. Just glue the bat wings down. Annie's shop is Annie's treasure on Etsy. And I have a 15% off discount code. Peeps15. P-E-E-P-S-15. And you can buy from her shop. Thanks for sprinkling. Thanks for sprinkling. All right. So I let that dry. And then these glue webs. And then I took some. Let's do yellow because we've been doing orange. Should I do? No, I want to do. I don't want to. I want to do orange. So you take a little bit of your orange clay. Now this is the part. You don't need a lot of clay. When you do a filling in a cookie, you do not need a lot of clay, okay? You need a little bit of clay. Because if you put too much, when you squash the cookie down, it's going to come out of the cookie. So you just need a little bit of clay. But this is what I did. I took some, and at first I started putting it here in the middle. Okay? So I did like that, and I put it in there like that. Because once you put this part down, it's not going to squish that back there. So, you got to make sure you fill your cookie in first. Like if somebody has another idea, and you know, everybody just do what works for you, okay? But this is what works for me. So, I'm going to push some of the clay over to the side. Like that, and I'm going to make sure that I get some clay on top so I can touch this other cookie here. And then that's it. And then you're going to make the eyes. Then you take the top part. Now make sure that your wording is not upside down, sideways, or whatever. And then you're going to squish your cookie. And look, it works just fine. You don't want to put too much. You don't want to put too little. And you can always go in there with a tool or something. Smash it down. Fix it. Do whatever. Okay? So now let's make some eyes real quick for these bats. And it's pretty simple. Now if you wanted to use fake eyes, like the resin eyes, that you can get from like um, any shop or play code 3. You can do that. So let's use some clay real quick. And you don't even need a lot of clay. You just need a little bit of clay. And uh, just make a little round. And sm when you put it down, then you smash it down. Okay. Make a round. Another round one. Just smash it down. Now you get you some green or some red or whatever color you want the eyes to be. That's the color you're going to pick. I'm just going to, I don't have, did I get green? I didn't bring the green with me. I didn't bring the green with me. So his eyes are going to be yellow because that's what I got right here. Yellow. Got to fix my hat. My hat is coming. I'm, I'm, I'm like... <laughs> I keep hearing all this clinking and clanking over here from these earrings. And I'm cracking up. Alright. So you don't need a lot of yellow. Teensy bit of yellow. Teensy. Okay. You're going to do the same thing. Make a round little ball. And when you get on top of the eye, then you smash it down. Okay. That look like a fried egg. And then you get do the same thing again. Make your ball. And then put it on to the white. And then flatten it down. And I'm going to use my, my little marker to make his eyes. And there you go. 
I really love these paint markers. Like they they turned out to be like lifesavers. So now we did our bats. That was too easy. Where should we put them? Let's put them right here. Next to these other cookies. There go your bats. Let's make some some little uh macarons. So I also had used a, a mold for this. It's this tiny mold. I got this mold from Amazon. Um, you can find it on Amazon. And usually when you buy, you get more than one. I don't know who else sells it. I don't know if Annie has this in her shop. Because Annie does have a lot of molds. I'm not sure. But it's really a tiny little macaron. And it comes. And once they shrink up, they, they get small like this. They're very tiny. But they're perfect for what we're doing today. So... I made some, of course, you know, I made some ahead of time. I got a green one. I got an orange one. And where is the rest? Purple one. Okay. So now let's make some of these. Let's put these over here. Because these are just so cute. And again, all you're going to need is the tiniest amount of clay to go in the inside. I don't know why I keep putting the clay on the floor because I need it. Like Annie said earlier, just need some more space. It's like you don't have enough space to craft. Listen, you're going to take the smallest amount of clay. This might be even too much, but this is what I do. I take it and I spread it. I put it down and then I kind of spread it like that. But first, you want to draw your faces, okay? Because once you once you put it together, it's going to be hard to draw because it gets wobbly and stuff. So let's draw the faces. So on this orange one, I'm going to make a pumpkin, of course. That's why I tell you these um, paint pens come in handy. You don't have to mess with no paint. I am not a I cannot draw, okay? I'll tell y'all that right now. Sin do not draw. Terrible that I'm I'm a crafter. Give me some paper and glue, I always say. So now we're gonna do Frankie. Frankie, you just come like this. Just draw the hair. Come around like that. Then you just paint it in. Okay, and then I drew him his unibrow. And then I gave him some eyes. I kept it simple. You can add more color if you want. If you want to make his eyes white and then put some black eyes, you can do that. But I really did keep it simple. Because you don't really have too much space to draw on anyways. You know what I mean? There's <laughs> really not much space here to draw on. Okay, so that's that one, that's that one, and now we're going to do Dracula. So Dracula, you know, he has that widow's peak. So you draw that part first. And then you go around like that. And you paint that in. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the comments, guys. I promise to go back and... Uh, Respond to any of the comments. Again, if you want to get something from Annie's Treasure, a mold or something, I have a discount code Peeps15. I also have a discount code for Playco3. So now I'm going to just put dots for his eyes. And I'm going to draw a smile with some fangs. And then what I did, right, I took a little bit of um, this red right here and a little tool, just a little drop of red. You don't need a lot. And I took this tool. I got this tool from Dollar Tree. You got a little point. And I picked up some of that and I just put a little bit of like a drop of blood right there.
she just put some blood on him. And that's that. Those are the little macaroons. Now we're gonna put some filling. And we, now you gotta let the paint, you gotta let the paint pens dry, okay? But get you a little bit of the filling, put it in the inside. Like I said, I just like to spread it down like that. And uh, spread it around a little bit. Now, you don't need no orange. Where's the yellow? I got stuff everywhere. I'm going to use white for the pumpkin. I'm just going to use white. Ah, I can't do nothing with these nails. Even though I've been doing okay, I can't open the bag. Okay. Y'all got any questions or anything? Well, I got a minute trying to look up um, while I fill these little things up. Thanks for the stars, guys. I appreciate it. All right. So then you're just going to take your little pumpkin, smash it. See how... If you don't put too much, it just makes it just into the inside of the macaroon. We're going to add it to that pile over there. Now we got Frankie here. We're going to smash that down and put him back in the pile. And then we got Dracula. And we're going to put him in the pile. So now we got this board is getting filled up. And we still ain't finished. All right, now let's see what else I got. All right, let's do the strawberries. I got some strawberries. Where the strawberries at? Oh, yes. We got to do the strawberries, honey. Where are the other strawberry at? Okay, here we go. Look at these strawberries. We got Frankie. We got a ghost. And we got a pumpkin. Okay, we're going to make those now. Y'all ready for this? So... You're going to make your drip, the same drip I use to make this, the cork, my podge, and paint. You're going to make it, you're going to make some in green. I make some in green. If you want to make Dracula, you can make you some in purple. And I made some in orange, okay? So, basically what you're going to do. I got these. These are very small strawberries. They're very small. I bought these from... I got these like on eBay. I'm talking about years and years and years ago. And I hated them. But they're perfect for this right today because they're tiny. So what I did was... Basically, you take your little dip, drip, whatever you have made... Let's move all this stuff out the way. Make sure it's watery. This There is no specific recipe for this. It's kind of the consistency of like cake batter. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin, okay? There's no specific recipe for this. I mean, I haven't tried to make one, but you're going to take your little strawberry and you're just going to dip it. Make sure you get all the excess off, okay? Because if you don't, it makes a big puddle on the bottom. But if you want it to be a big puddle, then that'd be good too, okay? Because then it'll look like it's um, melted and it'll look even spookier, okay? But that's totally up to you if you want to. So I'm going to put this one to the side and let it dry. Because I have some already made, okay? So, what I do with the lid... Okay, we're going to put this over there. So I have some here that I, already, that I already made. I got some. I really like making those. Those were fun. So we're going to get, we got the pumpkin one. Again, I'm using a paint pen. Use a magic marker if that's what you have. You Listen, what did I do to the lid? Okay, I see it over here. I'm tripping. So you're going to take your little strawberry and you're going to draw the face. These paint pens are a lifesaver because you don't have to worry about. And it dries pretty fast. So what I did. 
I'm gonna take the line and I'm gonna go like this. Come down. And then I'm gonna make another line going like that. And then I'm gonna come like this. And that's your pumpkin strawberry. Right? We're gonna add the little strawberries right here. Let's do Frankie, because Frankie cracks me up. So you're gonna take your little strawberry and you're gonna make that Frankie hairdo. You know that famous Frankie hairdo? I could leave a link to the paint pens if y'all want me to after this live. And you're gonna make his unibrow, draw his eyes. Make sure you give him that scar. He needs that scar. And his little mouth. And there go Frankie. Now we're gonna add him to the pile. And the ghost is pretty simple. Just round. But if you buy the strawberries they have from um, Hobby Lobby, inside that bag they have different sized strawberries. So just take all the little ones out and then you can make them uh, for your little tray. This tray is jam-packed. So I got some extra ones here, but I'm not going to make those right now. And then... I have a mummy. So let's make these. I have some like voodoo doll ones. Where they at? Where, where the, didn't I just have them? What I do with the what I do? Did I okay? These are easy too. We're gonna put those on the top over there. I'm running out of space over here. So you're gonna color this classic caramel the same way I colored this one. Classic caramel. And then you're just going to go in there and do the stitching. However you want. You can draw him an eye. All right, let me hurry up so I can finish the rest. So basically, you're just going to make the little cookies, the little, what they call them, the little voodoo cookies. Put them in the pile. And then, I ha what happened to my, oh, it's over there. Let me get it. I made a mummy cookie, too. So basically what I did was I took this cookie. No, I took I made a cookie, but I didn't put any, it doesn't have any filling or anything in it. And I used my white drip. Now, you want to make sure you cover your cookie real good when you do this, okay? Now, do you have to do this? No. But I wanted it to look more realistic. So, like I want it to look like a chocolate covered nut of butter. Because you could just make it white. But then it'll look like a white cookie. You know what I mean? It won't be covered up or anything. And then when you do this, you got to let this dry really well oh thank you Karen hi Ivy hi Cecilia thank you for sprinkling Jackie so make sure you take off most of this and I like to um, put it on a styrofoam block so the back gets dried at the same time but you got to let this part dry 100%, okay? You got to let it dry 100%. I'm going to put it down over here with the rest of the things that I have drying over here. And I'm just going to lay it down here, okay? So once you have that dry, you're going to want to get your the same drip that we used to dip it in. You want to put some in a baggie. 
because you want to sprinkle it. You want to look, make it look like it's sprinkled, like it has not sprinkles, um, dripping on it to make the wrap look like a mummy. Okay. So now, where are my eyes? So I got these eyes. You can get them from Playco 3 or from Annie's Treasure. There's so many different eyes to pick from. I mean, you can use them other, like the resin eyes. But I figured these was a good uh, um, good alternative to the, because resin eyes are expensive. So I'm just going to take a little dot of, of my um, drip. And I'm going to put it on there. And I'm going to put the eyes on there first. And then I'm going to put the next eye. I don't want them to look. I kind of want them to be off center a little bit. So then you're going to take your drip. I like to start on the eyes. Because I want to make sure that the eyes get covered up. And then I go and make the rest of the dripping. Go the other way. Come the other way. Make sure you get the top part. And you can always go in there with like a toothpick or something if you want to fix a little bit of something or spread something around. And that's how you make the dumb the dummy. <laughs> the mummy. Okay. I only got one mummy because I only made like one. I kind of made it last minute, and that's what happens. But I'm gonna, after I finish, I'm gonna have three. So I'm excited about that. Oh, something I forgot to tell y'all about the little the little uh Frankie macaroons. So I bought these little bones. I have these bones. Right? And I cut the bones in half. I cut the bones in half. And these are going to be Frankie's. What they call them things on the side of his neck. We're going to put those in the side of Frankie's neck. What do you call them things, y'all? I'm not going to glue them down. I'll come glue them down later. But you could just stuff these in his um thing. They don't want to stay. Of course, it doesn't want to stay. Hold on. Let me get something else to make a little cut with because that thing wasn't working. So get a little something to make a cut. There you go. There we go. You see his little, what do you call them, bolts? I don't know. I might be saying the wrong word, but and you take the other one and you put it in through the other side. Oh man, y'all know what I'm trying to do. I can't do it now because these nails is just like I don't know how y'all crap with nails. But anyways, look, take the little bone and make his little bolts on the side. All right. So, I'm going to put this to the side. What else we got? Oh, I want to show you all the little chocolates. The little chocolates. So, I used the mold. And what I did was to get the candy, to get these little candies to stay in the mold. You see how they have different little candies in there? So, this is kind of tedious, but you're going to take your... You're going to take your um little candies and you're going to go and put them in there one by one. Yep, that's how it goes. You put them one by one like that. If you want to put sprinkles, you put a sprinkle. If you want to put a ball. But you got to fill each cavity up like that. Then you're going to take your clay. Now you can make these any color you want. Orange, yellow, green. Whatever color you want. Where is my orange? Oh, it's right here. I want to make some orange ones. And you're going to take... Now, this is the part where you have to be careful. Like, when you're going to put the clay in there, you don't want these little things to move. So, get you a piece of clay, right? 
and kind of measure like is that gonna be enough the size the length and all that and then you're gonna take it and you kind of kind of like mat like spread it out already like that and then lay it down like lay it down and just press it in okay you got to be very careful and gentle with it so when you take it out you got to put this in the freezer okay so when you take it out each little candy bar is going to have something in it okay like look like this so where do i put these cuz this board is getting packed the little charcuterie board is filled up right so I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to put that in the freezer. And then I made some of these. Let me stop putting this on the floor because then I got to keep picking it up. And then I made some of these. Um, ghost meringue. And I also made a pumpkin one. Which I'm going to put. I don't know where to put. <laughs> I'm going to put them over here. Like this. There's a lot of stuff on this board. If y'all want me to show y'all how to make the board, I could do that on a live one night. If you want me to show you how to make the board. So I used a mold for that too. This mold. I got this mold from Michaels. So let me show y'all how to fill up this mold. Because if you don't fill it up properly, you don't get that point at the top. You won't get that point. I'm going to show y'all real quick. What time is it? Oh, shoot. I'm running out of time. But I did do most of everything that I wanted to do, so I'm good. So when you put when you make this mold, take your clay and do like this. You see that? You're gonna take this tip and you're gonna push it into like push that into the mold first and push another, like make sure you push down into the mold so you can get that tip. Okay? Don't just push clay in there because the clay is not going to reach to the bottom. Make sure you roll it out, then make a point, and then push that point into the mold so you get some of these, so you get the tip, okay? So, let's do the faces real quick, which is, you know, the triangle face. Put that one there. You got a ghost. I'm being fast now. Not that they got to be perfect because they spooky. But you know what I'm doing, what I'm saying. And then I also made some of these guys. Some little uh, pumpkin pretzels. I don't know what happened to the rest of my pumpkin pretzels. So basically what you do is you put it in the mold, the pretzel mold. And when it comes out, it's going to be arms like that. And you're just going to take a little piece of green and make a stem. Okay, so you're going to make the stem and then you're going to add it. I, have, I don't know what happened to Oh, here go another one right here. And you're just going to add it to your tray. I got some more here, but I'm not going to have enough time to do them. And so then we have these little cupcakes. So these little cupcakes are made with this mold. So this mold, if you see, it has three layers. That's how I did the little um, top. So on the bottom one, you're going to put a little piece of the white clay. The white clay. Right here. Oh, shit. This is, I made a mess over here. Y'all don't even know what I just did. But <laughs> I put this on top of my my mummy, so now I got crap on top of it. But anyways, you're gonna take a little piece of just a little tiny piece of the white, and you're gonna fill in that hole. Now I got paint on my finger, so now it ain't gonna stick in there. Yeah. But anyway, you're just gonna go lay. I can't do it because I got paint on my fingers. From the um, thing right there. Once you get paint on your fingers. And you try to mess with with, with, with clay. It ain't going to happen. But basically. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look. Look at this. 
But basically what you're going to do is you're going to go layer for layer. You're going to put the white first because that's going to be the top. Then you're going to put the orange in the middle. And then you're going to put yellow clay on top. You got to put this in the freezer. And then when you pop it out, it's going to look like this. And the base, you make the base whatever color you want. And what I do is I glue it together. And then I put a little bit of um, sprinkles on the edges. Where is this going to fit? I got too much stuff on my board. Look, the skeletons are upset. They, they like, we got too much company on here. Okay, let me see if I got something else in here. So basically, if you have any empty space, you can fill it up with... You can fill it up with some of these little cute, um, don't these look real? Look, get you some candy corn. Look how real these candies are. You can find these at any treasure, Play Co. 3. I got these. These look like gummies. These came from Hobby Lobby in a pack. They have yellow ones too. Like if I had space, I would put some, like... Let me bring the board down so y'all can see what's going on here. Oh, my goodness. Let's bring the board down. Let's try to make some space so we can put some of this stuff on here. I got a few minutes left. Okay, so we're going to put our little ghosty friends over here. Let's just use three for now. We're going to put our little mummy there. We're going to put our candy over here. Let's move this, this is in the way. Let's put our candy here like this. Oh, chocolate, I mean. Right? And then we're going to take our little macaroons and just put them around. And we're going to take our Oreo cookies and put them around like that. Or maybe I should put them over here like that. Come on, y'all. Stop acting up. And then we're going to take our little candy you know what we're gonna do let's put some candy corn in this little corner over here we're gonna put our chocolate we're gonna put some candy corn we got some candy corn we're gonna put our little macaroons right here and we're going to put some of these uh, pumpkins, like right there. Oh, well, let's put the orange one on top. Oops. And you're going to take your little strawberries, and you're going to put them all at the top right here. Just arrange it like you're doing a real charcuterie board. That's it. Got our chocolate bark, our Halloween bark, I mean. Press it around like that. You got your little cookies, your little voodoo cookies. You got your little pumpkin cookies. Or pretzels, I mean. Just pile it up. Just pile it up. That's all. You got your little ghost. Put it there. Got your cupcakes. And you can put some... You're going to put these cupcakes right here. You can put your... These remind me of like gummy pumpkins. So we're going to put some gummy pumpkins there. And um, I got some of these. Um, what you call these? Let's put some of these down here. Well, maybe we should put them over here. I'm going to just put them in there like that. And I made some worms too. Some gummy worms. But I ain't got no room for them. So I'm going to just leave it alone. But I did get some of these cute little lollipops from Annie's Treasure. I'm going to stick them right here. No, we're going to put them somewhere. We're going to put these lollipops somewhere. But anyway, guys, this is it. We made a whole charcuterie board here. And you guys can make one too. If you want me to go live and make show you how I did the charcuterie board, um, I can do that. 
too. Um, just let me know and I will make that for y'all. So let me know. And guys, I just want to thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today and for hanging out with all of us. For sending me stars, for sprinkling, for showing love, for just dealing with my craziness. I appreciate y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow because tomorrow we got to do a craft because, you know, it's the weekend. But anyway, guys, I will talk to y'all soon. Oh, my God. I forgot who comes on after me. That's not good. Um, Since the schedule changed, I just totally forgot. But follow us on Fake is Gonna Bake and you will see who's next and you will not miss on anybody's live. And, guys, I will talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.